Mr. O'Connor. Here. All right, if you can all stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America. America. And to the republic for the stands of the nation, nation that are God, and the world. Liberty, liberty, justice, liberty, for all. For all. <laughs> Thank you. We will begin with the election of officers. I will pass it off to uh, our solicitor. Max, take it away. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, greeting members of the board and members of the public, as well as Alcasan staff. Uh, by our bylaws, as well as the Municipalities Authorities Act, we are to elect a, uh, officers uh, at the first meeting of every year. I have been provided with a slate uh, that continues from last year. So we have a slate with the chair, Corey O'Connor, vice chair, Harry Reedshaw, secretary, Dr. Shanna tharp -Gelliam, and treasurer, Sylvia Wilson. Uh, we'll need a motion to approve the slate of officers for the 2021 year. So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Shea. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. O'Connor. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any, aye. any opposed? Say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Congratulations to our reelected officers. All right, thank you very much. And uh, fellow board members, thank you uh, as well. This is a weird time to chair a board, but um, we're making it work. Um, so I wanna thank everybody for their uh, support again this year, as well as all the uh, directors at Alcasan and all the employees as well. So we will uh, begin our uh, information items, public comment. Do we have public comment? Yep. No, no public comment. All right, we will begin then uh, for item B, a report of the 2020 operating cost and revenue. Karen, please take it away, see exhibit A. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're here to talk about the current um, expenditures right now. We have spent throughout 2020, which was a very good sound fiscal year for us. We spent 87.9% of our budgeted expenditures while we uh, received 95.5% of our budgeted revenue. The year end um, audited financial statements will start. The audit will start on Monday. Um, we reviewed the unaudited uh, draft full accrual statements with the board treasurer this morning as were required under the trust indenture. So everything is proceeding the way we would expect it to. Um, and again, we continue to operate in a fiscally sound manner. Any questions? Uh, seeing no questions, thank you for the update. And we will now go to the 2020 capital budget uh, report, exhibit B, uh, I will pass it off to Kim. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So this is actually the 2021 uh, capital budget. This is sort of the release of our plan for 2021, coming in at a budget of just over $150 million. So I was just comparing it to the, uh, the roll up that I presented at the December meeting. And you'll see several new projects for 2021 that are sort of showing up as we advance our capital plan. Uh, up at the top, we are uh, the S481, the aeration tank diffusers. We awarded that job last year, and uh, we designed that in-house and moving forward to construction this year. And then uh, under the municipal source control projects, Clay Street sewer separation, Spring Garden and Delafield Avenue, uh, direct stream removal project, those are... Uh, those are pretty exciting projects. And then for the plant expansion, you'll see new to this list are the solids thickening and dewatering improvements, which we'd think about at the end of the year. And then the new two uh, primary sedimentation tanks, which are new to this list as well. And then last but certainly not least, the Ohio River Tunnel has uh, shown up for the first time. So this sort of shows our, this is the first glance at the 2021 capital budget and I'd be happy to take any questions. Right. Seeing no questions, we will actually uh, keep Ms. Kennedy on the line for a planning commission update. Okay, thank you. 
So we, as part of the plant expansion, have had to obviously go to the city for multiple different permits. Several of the projects associated with the plant expansion have to be, have to go all the way through the city of Pittsburgh planning commission. Planning commission requires, that approval requires a lot of different activities such as a um, development activities meeting with the registered community organization, a contextual design review panel meeting, and then a zoning board of adjustment hearing in the event that there are variance requests. So for the next project, uh, or one of the projects that is in the design phase right now, which is our environmental compliance facility and parking garage, all of those pieces uh, and parts have already been completed. And just two days ago on January 26, we received planning commission approval for the environmental compliance facility and parking garage. So that was great news. Um, and it's a lot of hard work went into that. And next up will be the process for the East Headworks planning commission approval. Uh, the good news is with that one, we don't expect any variances. So it should, uh, it should shorten the time frame quite a bit. So um, a lot of work goes in on the back end to get these projects ready for construction. And, and we look forward to continuing to work with the city to get the permits required uh, to continue to move forward. That I'd be happy to take any questions. Uh, none for me. I'm just glad somebody finally got a permit in the city. <laughs> oh, wait, I said that out loud, didn't I? Oh, man, I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, we will now go to our advisory committee report. Uh, I Is Chair uh, Tim Rogers on the call? If Tim is on there. I do not see him, unfortunately. Uh, okay, we will uh, leave that open for now. Um, we will go to our action items. I need a uh, motion and a second to approve the board minutes and the invoices. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Uh, motion to approve the following contracts 1736 repair of roll up garage, see exhibit D. Uh, I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, on to contract 1739. Furnish and deliver fiberglass flights for primary sedimentation tanks. Uh, see exhibit E. Uh, that contract is going to Fairfield Service Company. Are there any questions on that? If not, I could use a motion and a second. So move. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Contract 1739. Um, furnish and deliver uh, caustic soda for demineralization unit. Wow, that was pretty good. To sell chemicals at a price of 0 0.169, I guess, dollars. Uh, bids received are indicated in Exhibit F. Uh, are there any questions? If not, a motion and a second. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion, uh, we're <laughs> off to item D, motion to approve the following change orders that exceed $30,000. See exhibit G, uh, contract 1717 O&M building leaks uh, for caliber contracting. Uh, are there any questions on that continued contract? If not, can I have a motion and a second? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay, that moves us on to items E through K. We did have a professional services meeting on the 14th of this month. Uh, we need a motion to approve the following service contracts. Number one, for Jacobs Engineering Group under the agreement for engineering consulting. <laughs> services for an amount not to exceed $19,152,308 to perform scope of services under capital project S47 tunnel program management. I would pass it off to the director as well as Kim on this uh, big project. Thank you. 
<laughs> question. Uh, as we have discussed with the board for these many months, the tunnel program is a significant component of our clean water plan strategy. This provides for the program manager to be able to <laughs> of the program I will. made the award in December. We've come back with a fee. Kim will speak to just an overview of what will be provided for what arguably appears to be an incredibly large dollar figure. Kim? Thank you, Arletta. So uh, this service authorization is for five years. We did a five-year um, base on this because of the work that's going to be taking place in the next five years. We need this tunnel program manager to um, look at the whole program as a whole and provide the programmatic support for budget and scheduling, as well as senior technical reviews of each phase of the tunnel design. Um, base reviews and then the value engineering reviews that will be needed as we advance the Ohio, Allegheny and Mon River tunnel designs. Uh, and also the other aspects of the program, such as the modeling and the geotechnical um, engineering that will go into each one of the decisions to, to continue to move our program forward. So we're uh, excited that we had a, a good negotiation with Jacob's team between the award in December and um, feel like we're bringing a, a, a good fee forward to the board for award today. But I would be happy to take any questions at this time. Uh, seeing none, I need a motion and a second. So move. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 I'm sorry. I was on mute. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, okay. We will go to item F, motion to award the new access shaft manhole near A40 and M49 project to Hatch uh, and authorize the executive director to negotiate a fee. So move. Oh. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, M next item G, motion to award engineering services for underground utility location services, T2 utility engineers and authorize the executive director to negotiate a fee. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion to award uh, item H, sorry, motion to award service authorization for Hillcrest Group LLC under the agreement for engineering consulting services to perform the scope of services for air compliance support for an amount not to exceed $84,000. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay, next item I, motion to uh, motion for modification of service authorization 302 for Jacobs engineering to extend their green infrastructure source control program management role uh, for an additional year, amount not to exceed $992,000. Director? Anybody? Just, a, just an update on the green infrastructure overall. That would be valuable to unmute. So, yes. <laughs> Ongoing service, uh, another key component of our clean water plan programming, the green aspect of uh, this authorization will provide oversight of uh, the on-call green consultants that the board shortlisted sometime or the professional services they shortlisted some time ago. Uh, give some additional leadership to the GROW program uh, in terms of an external resource. We certainly have good capacity in-house with Tim Prevost and company. And just 
provide for the needs for this aspect of the program. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, aye. I, item J, motion to modify uh, modification of services authorization 309 for WRA to continue support uh, the O and M building leaks project, uh, thirteen thousand three hundred dollars. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Our last item, uh, item K, motion to modify authorization three three five six for way trim to complete uh, hydraulic model of Alcasan's flushing water system for an amount of $12,000. Motion and a second. So moved. so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's, uh, that exhausts our agenda today. There is no new business. Uh, oh, our next- Chairman. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Hold on. We have two business one. I would like to point out that an executive session was held prior to today's public meeting. No votes are taken during the executive session. It is purely for those matters that are the purview of what can be discussed. I'm sorry, I think I forgot that last month too. I'm uh, getting right. a little crazy here. Um, so sorry Corey. about that, I apologize. Corey. Uh, any, uh, any other new business? Hey, Corey, this is John. I have, yes. uh, I have a question. Um, Perhaps it, uh, Arletta and, and uh, Jeannie could help. Uh, I think we should contact our uh, federal lobbyist um, with the new stimulus bill. I'm interested to see if there's any kind of provision in the bill for advanced refunding for municipalities uh, for municipal debt. Um, they eliminated that back in 2017, but I had heard that there was some discussion about from the federal government about allowing municipalities to refund um, bond issues that were uh, uh, weren't up yet. Be they were advancing the refund because of COVID. And I was just curious to see if we could contact, um, I forget the gentleman's name, who's our federal lobbyist, and ask for a report or an update on the, on the latest stimulus bill, if it included anything like that, because uh, it could be very valuable to us and uh, significant savings if, if that is in fact in there. I, I, Treasurer, I think that's a great idea. Uh, we will definitely follow up um, on that, especially with our lobbyists. And then uh, even the finance department, if they have heard anything about that, that would be great as well. So thank you for that recommendation. I think that's a, a good point to bring up, especially with all these bills that are gonna be coming out of Washington in the next couple months. It's good to follow up with that stuff. So thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, any other new business? Yes, okay. there is additional new business. Oh. I would very much like to introduce the authorities to executive assistant and secretary to the board, Mark Prater. There we go, zooming in on. Yeah, you get a zoom in. I'm sorry, I should have done that as well. It's, it's The floor is yours. You get the mic and everything. You wow. Can... <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So good evening, everyone. I am Myra Prater. Um, I am a lifelong resident of the city of Pittsburgh. Um, I have two beautiful daughters and two beautiful grandchildren, Samuel and Zara. Um, since I've come here to um, Alcazar, I've had an amazing welcome from everyone. Um, I've received um, much assistance on trying to get acclimated to the processes here. Um, and I just, I'm just really excited to see um, all of the, the developments and I'm excited to be a part of it. And I'm excited to learn more about what we do for our community going forward. So thank you for the introduction. Well, I will be the first one to welcome you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes the board meetings get a little crazier than they do now. Um, but also, uh, just so you know, you're now also in charge of running the open house. So good luck. Good luck. No, okay. <laughs> it's more of, an, more, of an inside, more of an inside joke on that one, but 
uh, there will be a lot, a lot of needed volunteers. So anybody that you've ever met in your life has to volunteer at the open house. So, yeah. I think we can work that out. <laughs> but thank you. And we're excited to have you. Uh, I think it's, it's good that, you know, we, we have somebody uh, dedicated to the, not only the board, but the director's office as well. So thank you. And thank for you. your willingness to help us out down here, that's much appreciated. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, well, we all, we all welcome you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Usually we would throw a party, but we're not allowed. So we'll, we'll make it up to you another time. Oh, yeah. um, so uh, with that, is there any other new business? I don't think we got to that. Okay, I think close it out. we're closing it out. All right, meeting adjourned. Next meeting, February 25th. We will see everybody then. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.